and welcome. Welcome to your practice. So our practice today is very special. Um, I'm super excited. Um, we are, um, after last night's new moon, we have now entered into a period called Nav, Navaratri or Nine Nights of the Goddess. So from today until Sunday, the 26th or 5th or whatever that last Sunday is, um, so 10 days from now, 25th of October, um, we're going to, uh, so people in, in India, many regions of India, are going to be celebrating the form of the goddess. When we talk about the goddess, we are referring to the Shakti energy. And so as in the universe, we have kind of uh, matter. And then we have energy that activates matter. So energy we know is constantly in flux. It never ceases to move. Um, it, it's kind of this cycle of movement, of creation, of um, energy manifesting. So this is representing that creative energy, that spark, that sort of life force that brings things into existence or um, moves things or transforms. We all have this energy aspect. We're not talking about traditional genitals here. We're talking about um, this creative energy that is inherent in all people of all gender expressions. Um, so today, we're going to be focusing on Durga practice, Durga Namaskar. So Durga is the goddess, the fierce goddess who rides the tiger into battle. And over the next nine nights, different manifestations or forms of this goddess, which cultivate different aspects and qualities of this Shakti energy. Each night, a different manifestation of Durga is celebrated and cultivated. And it's in three cycles, these nine days. The first three days of Durga or her, or her avatar Kalima, the fierce goddess. The second, the second lot of three days is for Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance and prosperity. And the final three days are for Saraswati Ma. And Saraswati it connects to uh, beauty, to kindness, compassion, learning, knowledge, the arts, wisdom. So we'll be connecting with these three uh, in incarnations of Shakti energy, of this creative feminine energy over the three practices we have. So for today, Durga, as Kalima, then Lakshmi, and then Saraswati. So beautiful timing. Let's ground down into our sit bones, coming in your sukhasa, really grounding down. So this practice today is kind of cultivating the fierce energy, the protective spirit. So Durga is the goddess who sort of rides into battle on a tiger or a lion, so you'll see two incarnations. And she is known to be the flaming one, the one who is fierce, invincible, fearless. She's as strong as a fortress. She holds the power of love, of strength, of courage, that helps to dismantle and deconstruct all of the layers that we adopt to cover up, to delude ourselves, the ego, what we may carry, this unhealthy ego. The mudra we're going to practice is Abhaya Haridya Mudra. So Abhaya is when you have all of your fingers together with your thumb just slightly angled. That's Abhaya, fearlessness. If we bring the right wrist over the left wrist and then Wrap our right index around the left index, middle finger around the middle left. Skip the ring finger and then the little right finger wraps around the left right finger. So you've got your thumb and your ring fingers extended here. 
And then you bring those to touch. So you create sort of what looks like a pair of eyes. This is a Baya Aridya Mudra, fearless heart mudra. So bring this to your heart. So crossing at the right wrist, crossing the right wrist over the left, wrapping the right index around the left, middle finger around the left, little finger, the right finger around the left, little finger, and then ring and thumb come together. Closing your eyes. Calling upon the fearlessness, the power of love, the strength in times of adversity, composure in times of chaos. This call for courage, justice, protection. Breathe into your heart space. And invoke a strong and powerful color. Colors associated with Durga are red and gold. Red for courage, gold for wisdom, illumination of cutting through the Maya, the delusion, the ego to reveal the inner strength, the inner courage, inner love that shines, emanates from the heart. And the mantra for Durga Ma, or Devi Ma Durga, is Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Salutations to the great Shakti force who overcomes all difficulties and challenges, invoking her protection and strength. Om Dum Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Let's chant that together three times. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om. Oh, oh. Releasing your mudra. Namaste and welcome to our practice. So let's move straight directly into our practice, starting with our Sufi circles. So grounding down here into the earth, anchoring oneself into the root here. And as you do, let's turn our heart, move into the forward and across, big circles here from left to right. We'll do three big circles, and then let's begin to make three smaller circles. And then pause, and then let's make three big circles over to the right. Now moving to the left, so switching direction. Three large circles taking up space, feeling powerful here, and then three smaller circles. And then coming to stem. Now let's bring the soles of the feet together. And let's draw the heels in as close as we can to our body. Reach out through the inner thighs, extending out. Open the heart space, lift the gaze. Parvatyasana. Three breaths here. So today I invite you to drop into this power of love from which we can move with strength and courage. The power of love also helps to protect us. Three breaths here. 
And then let's release the feet. Bring the feet together and come to on our knees so that we're sitting on our knees. And again, you can make yourself more comfortable. Roll a blanket underneath your feet. Place a cushion underneath your sit bones. Place some padding underneath your knees. Whatever helps you feel comfortable. So let's bring our hands into a buyer. So this gesture where we bring the fingers together and slightly um, activate through the thumb. So it won't be straight up, we'll be activating slightly through the thumb. Reaching through. So push out through the heel of each hand. Really activating, so hugging. You can feel the energy driving through your arms. One more breath here, and then let's turn the hands down. So this is helping to stretch through the wrists. One more time, reaching up. feeling strong through the arms. So the goddess Durga, Durga Ma, is a fearsome warrior. She carries a sword, a trident, a discus, lotus flower. Now let's bring the hands together and create um, a fist. Interlace all your fingers and then release your index so that your index is pointing, thumbs crossing. This is uh, Kali Mutra. Reach forward. Extend through the arms. Relax your shoulders down and away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale to rise up. One more time, exhale to reach forward. So you're feeling strong through your arms here. Inhale to reach up. And then let's soften. Now let's rotate round the wrist. One way. And then the other way. And I'm doing patterns of three. So you're really rotating that wrist while you're holding this Kali Mutra. And if you're Vata, you can hear lots of cracking in your wrist, releasing your hands. Let's bring your hands directly to the earth. So this is a goddess that rides on a tiger or a lion. So spread out your fingers, connect through your finger pads and the knuckles as if you're clawing here so that you have an active connection with the earth through the finger pads, your um, palms of your hands, the, the, the bony parts of your hands are really connected with the earth. Now activate through your feet. So press the tops of your feet into the earth as if you're pushing the ground away. We'll practice Simasan Pranayam, lion's breath here. Inhaling through your nose, and as you exhale, open your mouth, poke your tongue out, and open your eyes wide. You can make a gentle roar or a loud roar. You're in your own home, yogi's choice. Inhale through your nose. <sighs> inhale through your nose. Now, as we inhale, let's add the spinal movement, rounding through. Exhale, lift the tailbone, shine our heart, open the mouth, exhaling through a roar. <sighs> Inhale, rounding through the spine. So this is uh, what we don't normally inhale on the rounding of the spine. We normally exhale, we're swapping this around today. Exhaling on the lift. <sighs> so that we can gaze. Our eyeballs are gazing up towards the sky. Our heart is shining. One more time. Vitriyasana. On the inhale and on the exhale, 
lion's breath, simasana. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, hover here for a moment, drawing your navel to your spine. Hovering Sadhulasana. One breath more, you're activating here, let's lower the knees. Now, I'm going to invite you to turn your left hand over so that the back of your hand is on the earth. So press through this hand here opening through the wrist. One breath more. Let's turn that round, do the same with the right hand, flip your hand so that your fingertips point towards your body, your palm is facing up, the back of your hand is on the earth. One more breath here. Now let's return back to normal. So both hands back on the earth, palms connected. Lift your knees, inhale, hover. One breath here. Now, if you wish, you can try turning your palm over for the left one. So the weight shifts into your right hand. And then when you're ready, let's do the same with the right hand. Flip the hand so the right back of the right hand comes to the earth. And then inhale to lengthen your tailbone back. So feeling activated through your arms. Now let's connect more deeply with our feet. So let's pedal our feet here. And then we're going to come into stillness here. So ears between your arms, clawing through your hands. Lift your toes, spread them wide. Reach your heels towards the earth. Draw your navel towards your spine. <clears throat> Let's practice Timasan Pranayam here. Lion's breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through open mouth. Twice more, inhaling. Open mouth, roaring the breath. Last time, inhale together. Look to the top of your mat, bend into your right knee and reach your right leg back. Bend your heel towards your sit bone. Reach back, extending through that leg. Again, bend through your knee. One more time, reach back. Bend through that knee. And then let's step that leg forward. Coming to low lunge here. So here we are in low lunge. <clears throat> Take a moment. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Move the right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Place both hands on the earth. Now again, here we're going to flip our palms. So start with the left hand, flipping the left hand. And then bring it back to the earth. Flip the right hand. And then let's bring the palm back to the earth. Take a moment here. And I'm going to wriggle my left foot back so I come into dragon variation. Turn out the right foot so that you come onto the outer edge of your right foot. If you wish to bring your left knee to the earth, please do. Fan out that right knee. One breath here. Let's reach back with the right hand to our lower back. Spiral your heart. Spiral your gaze up towards the sky. You and left knee can be on or off the mat here. Exhale, turn your gaze down towards the earth. Bring the right hand to the back. Let's step back with the left foot to meet the right in plank. Take a moment here. If you want to bring your knees directly to the earth, you are invited to do so. Exhale, everybody, knees. Untuck your toes, bend your elbows, chest and chin, chin to the earth. Ashtangasan. Lower your abdomen, sliding your knees away. Bring your hands closer to your shoulders. Let's rise in Cobra. Bhujangasan.
Exhale, low to the earth. Inhale, take your hands behind your back. Interlace all, all your fingers. Release your index. Kali Mudra. Press into your big toes. Draw your hand down and away. When you're ready, we're going to lift our head and heart from the earth. You can leave your feet connected. Push through your hands, so reaching through your index fingers. Salabas and locust. One more breath. Lower to the earth. Release your hands. Let's rise back into child's pose. Take a deep breath here. So I practice for Durga going to be connected with the Manipur chakra. That's where um, the connection is to Durga. Ah. This power of transformation, transformation, that fire in the belly, that gives rise to courage in the heart. One more breath here. Then inhale, lift your gaze. Now activate through your hands. So lift your fingers and reach out through your fingers, press through your palm, so the bony parts of your palm, and then let's bring the finger pads to the earth so you claw the earth with your hands. Again, thinking as if we are um, having tiger paws or lion paws here. One breath here, and then let's rise. Tuck your toes, we're going to hover. And we are going to do the same thing with our paws. Left hand flips onto the earth, and then the right hand flips onto the earth. And then when you're ready, let's tail, reach the tail back, coming into Parvatasan, mountain pose. Let's take three Simhasan Pranayams, three lion's breath here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through open mouth. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. <sighs> One final time. <sighs> and now look ahead and reach back with your left leg. Bend into that left knee, bringing the heel towards your sit bone. Re-extend. Bend through one more time. Re-extend. Bend through. And this time we step forward with the left leg coming into our forward low fold. Nearly lost my balance there. Let's take a moment here. We're going to bring that left hand to the inside of the left foot, shuffle that foot out. Let's flip the right palm so that the back of the hand is on the earth, fingertips pointing back. Swap that around and let's do the same with the left hand, bringing the back of the hand to the earth. And then left hand down. So now we're going into dragon variation. Your left, right knee can be on or off the mat. Yogi's uh, uh, choice. Let's come onto the outer edge of the left foot, fanning that left knee out. Let's take the left hand, the back of the left hand to the lower back and spiral your heart and gaze up towards the sky. So you can have that right knee on the earth or lifted. Yogi's choice. One more breath here. Turn your gaze down towards the earth. Bring the left hand to the inside. Step back long. Plank one more time. Yogi's choice in Falakasan or Adda Falakasan. Knees can come directly to the earth. Squeeze the navel. And when we're all ready, let's bring knees, chest, chin to the earth in Ashtangasan. Slide the knees away. Reach behind 
your back. Now let's cross the thumbs the other way. So this way it's going to feel strange. And then extend your index fingers, Kali Mudra. Press your big toes into the earth. Inhale, engage your navel, lift your eyebrow center, lift your gaze, lift your heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Salabhasan locust. One more breath here. And then let's lower our head. Bring our hands back alongside our body, rising cobra. And then back into child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here. So working with the energy of Durga Ma, and Ma means mother. So Shakti Ma is a goddess, the mother goddess, the force of creation. By calling up on this mother goddess, we are calling upon the strength, resilience, invoking call for action to bring about social justice or equity. This is a goddess that does away with false, false egos, with false illusions to reveal and mirror the truth. One more breath here in. Child's pose, Balasan. Lift your gaze, come onto your knees, pressing into your toes. Inhale to lift your tailbone. And let's walk our hands back towards our feet. So we come into a forward fold at the back of our mat here. So your feet can be hip distance wide or a little bit closer. Let's take our hands to the back of our calves and come in the middle of the mat so you can see me a little bit better. Really hugging in here. So I have my elbows and my backs of my knees in close connection. My I have a deep bend so my abdomen can rest on my thighs. My crown is reaching down towards the earth, tailbone reaching up. One more breath here. Inhaling, release your hands, bend even more deeply into your feet. Cross all of your fingers. Release your index. Arms reach forward, tailbone reaches back. So you can be quite low here or a little bit higher, yogi's choice. Gaze ahead to where you're headed into battle, into challenge. One more breath, keeping your Kali Mudra. Inhale, lift your arms directly to the earth, straightening through your legs. Coming into Tadasan with your arms reaching overhead. One breath here. Now we're going to move here a couple of times. As you exhale, let's bend in the knees, reach the tailbone back, coming back into Utkatasan variation with hands reaching forward. Take your gaze, your drishti ahead. Inhale to rise up. Frame your ears. Exhale to bend into Utkatasana. Last time. Inhale to rise. Exhale over to the left in Ardha in Chandrasana. Inhale to center, 
Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to your heart. Oh, my arms are feeling it. So we're at the back of our mat. Let's tuck in your elbows. Take a moment here. Coming into our Haridhya Mudra. Abhaya Haridhya Mudra. Cross your right hand over your left. So you have this activation through the fingers and thumb. And then let's wrap the right index around the left index. Right middle around the left middle. Leave the ring fingers wrap. Little right little finger around the left little. And then bring the ring finger and the thumb together at the heart. Gaze ahead. Invoking courage, strength to step forward into challenge, into adversity, to protect others, to bring justice for others. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha. One breath here. Inhale, turn to the front. So now you're looking at the length of your mat. We're going to step with the right foot across our mat. Maintain this Abhaya Aridhya at the heart. Turn the toes so that you come into Devyasana, goddess pose here. Sink low. Now, if you feel powerful here and strong through your legs, you can lift onto the balls of your feet. So lift your heels. Exhaling, lowering the heels, straighten through the legs and then hinge from the hips so that you come halfway and then turn your toes forward. So here we are halfway, crown reaching forward, tailbone reaching back. Exhale, open your arms and take your hands to your legs or to your big toes and then lower your crown towards the earth. Softening here, feeling strong through your legs, but soft in your upper body. So sensing where you're activating, hug in the calves and the muscles of the thighs towards the bones. Draw your navel towards your spine and then soften through your shoulders, neck, head, arms. One breath here. Releasing your hands, bringing your hands to the earth. Let's turn the right foot to the top of the mat. Walk your hands across and rotate onto the ball of your left foot. Take a moment here. Then inhale to rise up. Exhale, take your hands to your lower back. Place the heels of your hands on your lower back. Draw your shoulders together. Draw your elbows together. And then sink into your, you can bring your left knee to the earth if that supports you. Or keep that left knee lifted. Draw your shoulder blades together and lift your gaze. One breath here. Release your hands. Hop that left leg in slightly. So you come into pyramid pose. Soften and fold over your right leg. If your hands are on the earth, great. If you wish to reach for your footstool or your blocks or your large books, so you can rest your hands on your blocks. Yogi's choice to reach for whichever props you need. (sighs) 
softening here. Inhale, hands to your heart. Let's bring, cross the right wrist and bring your hands into your Abhaya Mudra, releasing your left, your ring fingers and your thumbs. Inhale to rise. Slowly with control. Or if uh, by a Haritya sounds too complicated for you, you can have your hands in Namaskar or Anjali Mudra, palms together, lifting your gaze to the horizon, parallel. One breath here. Bend into your right knee, open out your hands, reach forward with your right hand, back with your left hand, adjust your left leg so it feels that you have enough space here, warrior two. And here, I'm gonna ask you to bring your right hand into Pran Mudra. So uh, your index and middle finger are extended, ring a little finger touching the thumb. Your left hand fold in the middle finger so only your thumb and index are reaching out. And come into your warrior two here. Now here we're going to play around a little bit. So this is our sword, this right hand. This is the archer's hand. The sword is for cutting through. The archer's hand is for clarity, releasing all of the mud, all of the darkness, all of the things that cloud our judgment, that help us to bring clarity and focus. So that when we go into battle, when we go into conflict, when we go into challenge or adversity, we can move decisively through that with strategy, with planning. Take your right hand and circle it over you. Circling it round and over your head. This sword cutting through. And then reach forward. And now let's do the same with the left hand. This time reaching forward and then up and out, over. So these are large circles. One more breath. Let's release that right hand to the, so the left hand to the left leg. And then flip the right hand up and over. One more breath here. Exhale, turn the right toes forward, coming back into Tarasana. Let's bring our hands into our Abhaya Mudra. Back to hands, right hand over left. Take a moment, bend into your knees. Goddess pose, Devyasana. Option to come onto your heels. Take a moment here and release the heels to the earth. Let's straighten through the legs, hinge forward from the hips, halfway. Prasarita Padottanasana. Exhale, release your hands to your legs, your ankles, your big toes. Crown reaching down. One more breath here. Release your hands from your legs. And then let's turn into the left foot. Coming into low lunge on this side, rotate onto the ball of your right foot. Your right knee can stay lifted or come to the ground, yogi's choice. Inhale to rise up. Janiyasan. It's very smoky in my room. I'm having incense burning while I'm practicing. No windows open. 
So if you see lots of smoke, it's don't worry, it's incense. One more breath here. Let's take our hands to the back of our lower back here. Place, place the heels just above your sit bones, and that bony part there. Draw your shoulder blades together, elbows together, sink into your hips, lift your gaze, open your heart. If you wish, you can bring this right knee to the earth. One more breath here. Now let's release our hands to the ground. We're going to move directly into pyramid pose. So a little hop with your right foot. Turn that right foot to a 90, uh, 45 degree angle. Hands on the earth, on blocks. Soften through your upper body. One more breath. Bring your hands in your abaya. Haridya Mudra, right wrist over left, crossing the right fingers over the left fingers apart from the ring. Then the ring and the thumb come together, rise up into standing pyramid. Gaze into the horizon. One more breath here. Now we're going to release our hands, bend into the left knee. And you might want to shuffle your right foot back to come into Mahavira Bhadrasana, the great warrior. Now this time we're going to bring our left hand into Pran. So bring and little finger and thumb folded in, touching each other, and your index and middle finger extended, pran mudra, the, the forward driving um, energy, the one that cuts through. And then the right hand into a pan mudra, folding the middle fingers, extending the thumb and little finger. So feeling strong here through your legs. So take the energy to the outer edge of your right foot, bend into your left knee, draw in the navel, open across the heart, gaze over the middle finger. So we're going to do the same thing we did with our sword hand and then with our archer hand. So take that left arm, sweep it round over your head three times. And then with your right hand, bring it forward to meet the left. And then large circles here again, three times. Om Dum Durga Namaha. And then drop that right hand, flip the left hand up and over into Shanti. One more breath. Open out, Mahavira, and straighten through the leg. Turn the left toes forward. Take a moment here, and we're going to come into our Devi Asana, right hand over left, wrapping all your fingers apart from your ring, and then bring the ring to the thumb. Bend into your knees, turn your toes out, the Vyasana. Last time we're transitioning through here. Come onto the balls of your feet. Summon your personal strength to confront inner shadows, inner demons that we have. All the, all the adversity or challenges or barriers that we experience, release the heels, straighten through your legs. We're going to step over to the right now. Take a moment, bring your hands together, reach overhead into Kali Mudra, interlace all your fingers, cross your thumbs the other way so that it feels strange. One here. 
Turn to the front of your mat now. As you exhale, let's hinge into Utkatasan chair pose, arms reaching forward. Inhale to rise. Exhale to bend into your knees, fingers reaching forward. Inhale to rise. And I don't know if that's three, but I'm going to do it one more time. Bending into your knees, Utkatasan. Strong pose, fierce pose. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment here. We're going to forward fold here from Tadasan. So lowering your hands down towards the earth. Your feet can be as close or as far apart as you like. Let's take the hands to the back of the calves. Let's really tuck in the elbows behind the knees. Soften through your crown. Soften through your neck and shoulders. Releasing your hands. Let's bring the knees to the earth here and come into child's pose. Hands alongside your body, palms face up. Soften here. I could do a Durga practice every day. So over the next three days and nights, I invite you to engage with the Durga practice, a practice that's connected to the Manipur chakra. So those practices, if you've practiced with me before, um, those elemental practices that I have around fire or Manipur chakra, you can also practice those. So those are on YouTube already. Or you can practice this one over the next three nights. Inhale, lift your gaze, rising up. Let's bring your hands together, interlace into Kali Mudra, reaching up. Exhale to reach forward. Inhale to reach up. Exhale one more time. Last time up to complete the cycle. Let's release our hands, come onto our sit bones, and you might need to shuffle on your mat now so that you come to the middle of your mat. I move back naturally. Extend your legs long. Flex your toes, dandas and stick pose or staff pose. Again, activate here. So toes are pointing up, heels, um, your ankles and your Feet are feeling very strong here and solid. And now engage through the legs. Imagine that you have a block between your thighs and you're squeezing it. Roll your shoulders down and away. Hands can be face up or face down next to your hips. Gaze ahead. Om Dom Durga Namaha. Om Dum Durga Namaha. Om Dum Durga Namaha. So this mantra, this mantra is great for doing 108 rounds if you have mala. Or and it's so doing japa or three to six nine, three to nine times. Going to bend into our knees, reach forward. I've got my pran mudra here. Exhale to lower to the earth. Take a moment here. Let's bring the heels in a little bit closer. Let's reach up through the right heel. So extend that right leg long, reaching up through the heel. Again, activating through this leg. So that sensation you had in Dandasan when you were seated. 
and bring that right foot to cross over the left knee. Turn the right knee out. Take a moment here. So you can thread through your left thigh, lifting your left foot off the earth here. And you can extend the left leg up towards the sky. Draw that leg in towards you at the same time, draw the right knee away from you. Inhale, lift your head, lift your crown, lift your eyebrows center towards the right ankle and the left knee. Draw the navel down towards the earth. Now let's lower. Holding onto your foot and your knee, begin to reach through that left leg, lowering all the way down to the earth. Keep holding onto your right knee and right foot. So hugging that in towards you. One breath here. And then let's release that right knee, bring the foot onto the earth. Take a moment here. And then let's cross that right knee over the left leg. Left hand to the outside of the right knee, coming into your supine twist. Three breaths here. Inhale, center, hug that right knee, and then bring it down to the earth. Let's take the left leg and reach up, push out through the heel of the left foot. So activate all the way through this left leg. Now let's bend into that left knee and place the left ankle on the right thigh, just below the knee. Keep turning that left knee out. Thread your hands through your legs and hug in your right leg and reach through that right heel. Inhaling, lift your crown, lift your eyebrow center towards that left ankle, right knee. And then low to the earth. Taking hold of the right, left foot and the left knee with your hands, holding that, creating that, begin to reach that right leg down towards the earth, moving with care. Keep hugging in this left leg, so that left knee is kind of round about your left armpit. And then let's release that foot, bringing it to the earth. And then let's cross that right knee over the left, the left knee over the right leg, coming into our Sutta Matsindrasana, recline twist. qualities that we've been invoking today of strength, courage, inner power, protection, this transformative energy that when we bring truth and love and confidence to the warrior spirit, we can overcome adversity, challenge, barriers. The Durga Ma goddess of strength, of invincibility, of fearlessness.
one more breath here. And then bring your knee back to center, hug it in, and re-extend your leg long to the earth, coming into Shavasana. Repose. Stillness. Knowing that you have transformed this Shakti energy to serve yourself, to serve your community, to help overcome fear, to bring composure and calm in times of chaos and turmoil, to be able to cut through this chaos and turmoil by anchoring yourself in your own power. This practice could not be more suitable for these times. One more full breath here in Shavasana. As you inhale, draw the breath right down to your toes, to your fingertips. With each in-breath, bring a sense of awakening, reawakening. Vitality. Perhaps you curl and uncurl your fingers and toes, stretching and flexing. Hugging your knees in, roll gently on your lower back, come onto one side, and then rise up into your comfortable seat, your sukhasana. Let's come into part of the dasan, so the soles of your feet together, heels in close to you. Lengthen through your spine, lift your crown, open your heart. And then let's bring your hands into your Abhaya, uh, Abhaya Haridya Mudra. Cross the right wrist over the left. Wrap your index finger around your left index, middle finger around your left middle, little finger around your left little, and then bring your ring and thumb together to your heart. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Daniya Hands to your knees, bring them together and give yourself a big hug. Thank you, yogis. Blessings of Shakti Ma to you all. Light candles, light incense. So you see the incense, the smoke of the incense represents the, the illusion, the Maya, the, the, the shadow, the mist of what we need to walk through, work through. And the candle helps to guide us and light us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you at my next practice, which will be Lakshmi Ma practice. Thank you. I will unmute you all.